Hi and welcome to a video hosted by Spellstorm Miniatures. My name's Dan. Today we're going to be looking at a quick painting guide or my painting style of the Ma Tucket box for Malifaux. Now this is my first foray into the game or painting any of their models and they do look pretty neat. Now they were a little bit to assemble so that was kind of the hard part as the small bits but it was really easy off the sprue. The plastic is nice to work with. And as you can see here, I just did a quick gray primer. Another chance I wanted to use gray, just kind of see how it turned out. It also let me see the details on them a little bit better than the black I thought might hide some of these small guys a bit. Just kind of going through, showing you the initial models and kind of what they look like. Had to figure out what I really wanted to do with them. These little gremlins are supposed to be running around the bayou, kind of in the grass, hunting around. So I wanted to stick in that basic theme. So this color palette is going to be more of browns, greens. And I was thinking about a little bit of red, maybe a purple, and some other special colors for Trixie Bella I'll get into a little bit later. Overall, I'm a little excited to see how fast I can really get these painted up. Again, the main goal here is I just want to do a decent tabletop job, but not take too much time as I don't know how much I'll be playing it in their near future and there's a lot of models to get on the table for that. Again just kind of showing off a little bit of detail here and my general idea of kind of the red cape, brown clothes. So we'll see how we can do. So please join me on this quick ride. I'll discuss the paints a little bit as we go just to what they are and for your reference. First up is a base coat of Army Painter Scaly Hide. Next is hitting the wood bits with the Army Painter Oak Brown. Brown by Army Painter.
decided to do the eyes with Army Painter's Pure Red. Since Trixie Bella is wearing some jeans, I decided to do the light denim as the base coat for her pants. For the base coat of the majority of the clothes, I went with the Army Painter Monster Brown. of the straw-like pieces, I used the Moon Dust by Army Painter. For the teeth and a couple other parts that looked like bone, I used the Army Painter Skeleton Bone. Painter Bay Blonde was my choice for the hair on a couple of the models. Then put down a layer of Army Painter Dragon Red on Trixie Bella's shirt to give it more of that plaid country look. Little Lass's dress went with Toxic Boils by Army Painter. On a lot of the hair and other bits, I went with just a basic black. This is just Craft Essentials black.
wanted to add a little green to kind of those hay grass bits and so I went with the Goblin Green by Army Banner to try to give it a little bit more depth. For the barrels and some of the other metal parts, went with the machine gun metal by Army Painter through their Zombicide line. Then I transitioned to doing the hair highlights with a little necromancer cloak. To add a little more color, I decided to use the red Craft Essentials paint to do Ma Tucket's base coat of her cloak. Next, to give that cloak a little bit more depth and solid of a red color, I used Army Painter's Pure Red. Back to some more highlighting, I used Monster Brown by Army Painter just as a quick highlight. some washes, little lasses, purple. Got the Toxic Shader from the Army Painter Zombicide line that goes right with the Toxic Boils. Army Painter Strong Tone was then used to coat a lot of surfaces. Metal parts got a hit of P3's armor wash over all of them. Then Trixie Bella's pants got a little P3 blue wash across it. And the final wash is Dark Tone by Army Painter along a lot of the skin.
After those had dried, I went back through with the Monster Brown to clean up some of those highlights. Army Painter Goblin Green was then used on the skin to highlight those up. Final touch on the straw, I went with Army Painter Dust Moon to lighten it up a bit. After a bit of drying, we have our final product. After, you know, a couple hours for all the models, not too bad. Ma Tuck It here, simple red, brown, green. Then Little Lass in her purple dress and her teddy bear holding that big spoon. I think it turned out all right. I'm not exactly over the top about how the straw hat turned out. But again, overall for a quick job, I kind of like it. Then we have one of our bushwhackers with the blonde hair and some of the metal pan. Another bushwhacker here, kind of the duck or a swan top kind of gave me a little bit of issue. I don't know how I wanted to do that, but again, turned out all right. Trixie Bella was just kind of fun. I didn't want to go more in depth in creating that plaid all over, but I think we get the general idea. Again, these are all for just a quick paint job just to get them done and ready to go on the table. Our final bushwhacker I think looks pretty decent. Now I'm going to have to base them. So thank you for joining me on this look on painting up Bayou Starter. If you're enjoying our content, please like and subscribe below.